camera action. <laughs> Greetings. Today is starting off a little prickly. Oh, you know, I almost, <laughs> I almost was going to put on my green ones too. And then I was oh. like, yeah, I think I'm going to do blue. <laughs> well, how are you, my friend? Oh, well, you know, we have just, uh, it's little Friday little again before. already. It gets yeah, Friday I've already. Got, I've already got stuff done this morning. Yeah. Like crazy, crazy. And happy let's fall. Just, here, let's just do that. <sighs> Clink. <Like>, okay. <sighs> oh, I'll have to get us new ones made. We have new pictures now. <laughs> <sighs> All righty. Oh. Happy so fall. Good morning, everybody in Facebook land. Yeah. Uh, Happy we are. <clears throat> you know, I, I got to do the thing. I you got to do the thing. thing. I got to do the thing. And it is the first full day of fall 2022. Like, how did that happen so quickly? I don't know. I'll tell you. So today is 9232022 and it's 932. Okay, so apparently so we've got a whole bunch of nines, threes and twos happening today, girl. What does all that mean? 9 and 3 and 2 is 14, that's a 5. Oh, change. <laughs> <laughs> I think change has been the word for 2022. I don't want any change today. I just want, I just want my life back. <laughs> it, you're not going back. I hate to break it to uh, you. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Where we're at is where we're at. It's all new energy and it's awesome. We just need to figure out how to maneuver in it. Yeah. Cancel, clear, delete. So good morning, <laughs> Facebook land. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Kathy. Hi, Connie. Good morning, Thanks Kathy. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, happy fall. Happy fall. Happy fall. And, and I, have, I have my. Oh, my, you got uh, your fall leaf on. Uh-huh. Nice. See, I found a chain for it. Yeah, you did so. I didn't so, wear this for a long time. That's so pretty. Um, it goes with the leaves on your ears. You're getting all leafed out. <laughs> I'm leafed out. <laughs> and what are we doing tonight? We're setting up tonight. <gasps> we are setting up tonight for the Women's Wellness Retreat in Sylvan Lake, where Cheryl and I are one of the breakout session speakers tomorrow morning. And we are presenting all in alignment, your home, your health. And yeah, Yay, it's our event. first live event since pre COVID. Is it like, I was thinking like, what was yeah. the last live event that we did? I think we were out at Sandra's shop in Rimby. Oh, wow. Like January of 2020. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I know. I mean, I've done my live training since mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. uh, but that's, you know, different, I guess. Yeah. Well, hmm. so anyway, yay, we get to be amongst people and okay, teach. Well, we're, we're going to have to get out the, that little can of oil and just, uh, <laughs> you know, oil the little cracks because so, we could be a little rusty. You know, the, the old door goes, <laughs> yeah, that could be us. <laughs> Nah, it's not that we haven't been teaching because we've been teaching online and we did the, the summit a couple weeks ago. We've had all kinds of classes and we're running a new one, right? We're doing moving from chaos to clarity coming up here, October 4th. October 4th. Yes, so sir. there's still time to register for that. Oh, there we go. Okay, we had two cards already today. And why do we wear these glasses? Well, because we want to look at everything through our feng shui eyes, which is energetically looking at things from an energetic viewpoint, mm -hmm. gives us more clarity. Absolutely. And our topic for the day comes from our friend, mentor, teacher, extraordinary woman. Tara Catherine Collins, six-time published author with Hay House, international bestsellers. 
her personal paradise card deck. That's a long mm -hmm. intro. So yay, but it's all worth it because she started a movement. She really did when she created the Western School of Feng Shui. Yeah. Anita was certified literally through Tara by Tara and is now the Canadian facilitator for the certification program, which also starts on Monday. Sunday. Oh, you're starting Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, you got a busy weekend ahead of you. All righty uh, then. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. Anyway, so we've had two cards come out. And one of the things we'll be doing tomorrow is offering Oracle card readings at the Sylvan uh, Women's Wellness event. And mm -hmm. the two cards are, oh, well, this is interesting. Uh, I'm going to guess. Okay. I'm going to guess which one of them has come up. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Either bathroom or water. No and no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but something we use in the bathrooms. Number four crystals. Okay. And it's a picture of a bathroom. So maybe that's why you were thinking bathroom. Okay. You're okay. you're you're tuned into your psychic abilities. And number 22, which equals a four, by the way. Uh-huh. Comfort and safety. Okay, well, there, there's a picture of a bathroom. Comfort oh, and that? safety? No. Crystals is a picture of a bathroom. Oh, got you. Okay. There we go. Comfort and safety is a picture of a dining room. Okay. Anyway, so interestingly enough, because as we're getting ready for this event, I packed and made a special container for crystals. <laughs> so that'd probably be why crystals came up because it's still in my energetic field. And you know, whatever cards come up for you whenever you're having an oracle reading, a card reading of any kind, it's because you're connected to it in the energy field, in that quantum mm -hmm. field. And that's why it, they wind up being so relatable to you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let's talk about comfort and safety and crystals. Wow, love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you start the conversation. <sighs> and I'll well, I'm going to start the in. conversation with crystals because I surround myself with crystals all the time. And I always have a quartz crystal, usually in this hand when I'm channeling. Mm -hmm. And as of late, I have come into the awareness of Andara crystals and now have a few Andara crystals and my favorite. And, you know, it sits at my desk here and go figure it's an emerald green. And what am I wearing today besides all green? Interestingly enough, mm. crystals carry their own vibration, their own signature. So you'll see children quite often and kids are so in tune until their parents tune them out <laughs> with vibration and energy. And you'll see them at like the rock and gem show coming up here in Red Deer. Uh, Silver Cove has their rock and gem show coming up here in October. And the kids will just flock. They'll, they'll immediately go to the crystals that they love. They love mm -hmm. all of them. But they know when they're picking, they're picking something that they're in vibrational frequency with. Mm -hmm. right? So Mother Nature creates these gems. And they're used a lot in healing. We use the double terminated. So terminated meaning points on either end mm -hmm. for anchoring and supporting missing guas in homes and businesses. So we use crystals a lot in feng shui. And I say that if I ever recreated my life again and started studying, I would start with two things, geology and psychology. Mm. And I would go back and study both of them. Mm. Uh, that's interesting that you say geology because, uh, one of the uh, past students from the Western School mm -hmm. of Feng Shui, who trained with me last September, uh, she's a geologist and she's actually coming back for a review. Yeah, that's awesome. I look forward to seeing her. Yeah. Find out what's um, happening in her life, and what's shifted yeah. and changed. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. Look at this. Look at, it's just a glare. Oh, 
So you might have to take a few out. Is that your crystal bag? So there's, I have a bag. I have a bag. Yay. There we go. Oh, look at those pretties. Look at all those. All those crystals, those quartz crystals. Double points. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So interestingly enough, people will, that are not familiar with energy or the connection to energy has been discouraged in their life question oh it's a rock it's a it's a it's a right they downplay it yet every electronic device every watch mm -hmm. has quartz crystals in it yep so our technology experts understand and have used the knowledge and, and the frequency of crystals Mm -hmm. And we seem to trust our technology, but we don't trust the shamans or the rock and gem stores that say, you know, that's a great healing crystal if you're connected. Yeah, look at yours. Similar to mine. We love these. They're so clear. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> that's a big one. Yep. Fits nicely. So, yeah. So when you just talking about that, Cheryl, so programming, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're used for programming. So because crystals have the ability to have a uh, memory. receive and transmit information because everything is energy, everything is frequency, frequency carries information. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, if you look at the crystal and like you said, there was a picture of the bathroom on the front mm -hmm. of the card. Yeah. Uh, and quite often we actually use the round faceted yep. crystals. So one of these. And um, we use those in the bathroom. We recommend them in the bathroom a lot of the time mm -hmm. to lift the chi, to Correct. lift the energy and to circulate it. And I have one of those round faceted crystals at the uh, top of my stairs, mm -hmm. I have a window. Beautiful. Oh, east. So and it would just spiral oh, in the morning. Gorgeous. The, the sun hits it, and there's rainbows everywhere. Mm -hmm. And when the when the grandkids have a sleepover, and they're you know waking up or whatever, they they just get all excited. Oh, Grammy, look at I have a rainbow on my leg, and, yeah. and then they try and you know catch the rainbow on the wall and the stairs and. And I love so that. Fun. And, and again, so, you know, when, when I just show you a crystal, all you see is just this plain, clear mm -hmm. rock, right? But the sunshine has the ability to transmute it mm -hmm. and, and create this beautiful aura, this beautiful rainbow. So I, I kind of think that that probably is true. For us, right? When you're 100%. holding on to that crystal, you know, that is helping your aura, your, your beautiful rainbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. And as you're talking about that, I got thinking because we talk about using the, the double terminated crystals for anchoring our homes. And, um, and why do we use it? Because it's part of Gaia. And when we use it and in the right purpose and set the intention to anchor and support that missing gua, for example, it's connecting to the crystalline grid at the center of the earth. So it is connecting our homes and securing our homes to Gaia mm -hmm. and connecting that area. So that's why we use it. A and thought again, just kind of kind of flipped in through my eyes or through yeah. through my mind there when it comes to comfort and safety. And you were talking about at the top of your stairs. Mm -hmm. But let's just back up because that does tie in comfort and yeah. safety, the mm -hmm. safety portion of it. Yeah. Stairs are often very quick. So one of the reasons, let me rephrase that. What is one of the reasons you hung a crystal up there, Anita? Wasn't yeah. just to catch the light. Mm -hmm. What was it? So yeah, so again, it helps to bring the vision uh, in a horizontal um, space so that, you know, you're not following the angle of the staircase, which 
which accentuates the chi and you know acts like a waterfall mm -hmm. so bringing the eye this way it actually helps your footing so that is you know another reason why i hung the crystal there so that the chi going up and down the staircase is slow it's yeah. slower a little and, balanced and you know out what? my my grandkids do not run up and down the stairs mm -hmm. um neither does my husband <laughs> so that's funny either do you little tip for you then if yeah. you find then that your children are running up and down the stairs or one of our clients their kids would jump they would come down the hallway jump to the landing and then they run down the stairs yeah great way to slow that down mm -hmm. and create a little bit of comfort and safety comfort for the parents safety for the children yeah right that's where we can bring crystals into use because they have that grounding ability that ability to as anita said grab the information and and distribute the information which is connecting to us we have crystals in our ears um, my neighbor has a problem with vertigo right now uh, a friend of ours, Scott, had a lot of problems after his accident, and he had to get those crystals rebalanced. He went through quite a series of, um, I don't want to say tests, but exercises to get them rebalanced in his ears. So mm. crystals are hugely important to us. So the next time someone does the, they're just rocks. Yeah. You know, there's no point arguing with them unless maybe they're one that likes the scientific information, then you could point out that scientific information. Mm -hmm. um, but you know now that they're way more important, way more important to our human life than just rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Thanks for the comment there, Kathy. Yeah, so to help ground people uh going down the mm -hmm. stairs yeah another way to use your round faceted crystal and uh yeah so let's talk about comfort and, and safety. safety well i think and that's a great topic because we are coming mm -hmm. for us in north america right it's first day of fall and some of us are starting to prepare for what is potential Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I've lived in this province for enough years to know we're going to get snow, we're going to get cold weather, and we're going to get ice. Mm -hmm. So part of our prep, right, winter tires, ensuring your vehicle is ready for the season, but also putting away, because <clears throat> we value our possessions, cleaning up the yard, putting nature to bed, putting my gardens to bed, putting them to rest. So they too have a chance to nestle in under the snow, mm -hmm. creating some comfort and safety for them. Right. Mm -hmm. I like to make sure that my trees are watered in in the fall and their root systems go to sleep and they have all that they need below ground because above yeah. ground, they look like they're not doing anything, but there's still things going on. Um, well, you know, and I love, that. I love that too, Cheryl, because we talked about, or no, I didn't, we didn't talk about it. I think I made a post on my personal page, um, last week mm -hmm. and just reminding people to let the, um, perennials and small shrubs, just clean them up in the spring. Right. Because that creates that comfort. Like you said, the comfort and safety for those little critters the little mm -hmm. insects leaving you know that extra foliage above ground helps to protect the roots helps to hold know, the snow that natural cycle so so yeah i love that you brought that uh analogy in about nature and so mm -hmm. you know once we create that comfort and safety outside for our plants and the you know the little tiny critters then we're coming back indoors and it's a time to look at those spaces in our home that we spend a lot of time, mm -hmm. whether it's the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, the office, wherever it is. And exactly. then to ensure that that space is that you feel comfortable in that space, that your body's not reacting and giving you some other signals, mm -hmm. you know, what's going on. And 
that you don't have those um, sharp corners and angles and things like that. And of course, the, the card image you said had a picture of a dining the room, dining table. room table, because it's one of the ones, one of the things we see often. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's how it's sold. Sometimes our, our choices are limited depending upon where we're living and all kinds of circumstances. Right. Yep. But in this picture, it's a rounded or oval shaped table. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Tara did that intentionally. She did, however, in the top right hand corner, maybe hard to see, but that's a corner of a glass table. Not this mm -hmm. particular table but a glass. Oh, and that just reminds me, remember um, when we did that consult back in May? Mm -hmm. Remember that table? Yes. Yeah, it was this huge, heavy glass top. The glass must have been that thick on it. And who knows, it could have even been crystal glass or something. Um, it was very big and ornate and heavy. And you could tell just by looking at it that it costs a lot of money. And right? nobody sat at it. And nobody sat at it because the whole underneath of the table was all of this, you know, intricate, ornate, iron metal thing. And the, the angles of the table were very sharp. So just imagine, you know, in the subconscious mind, it's like glass, angle, sharp, Metal. You know, what do you think of? You think of cutting yourself, mm -hmm. right? And then to sit there and then bang your foot or your knee on something metal is not comfortable. And so then it immediately takes you away from the dining room, which is supposed to be there to gather mm -hmm. the family <laughs> so they can gather and dine together and share the stories from the day. And that was not happening. No, everybody was eating everywhere in the house except for the dining room. Uh, so that is, and of course, you know, that's that's the the premise for wanting to learn and know and practice feng shui in the first place is to create the environment that is safe, safe and comfortable, comfortable and aesthetically and pleasing. Aesthetically you can pleasing. have it all. You can not have it all. It is entirely possible. It's just looking at your environment through your feng shui eyes and what results are showing up. In mm -hmm. that particular instance, as Anita said, nobody ate together. There mm -hmm. was very little communication between everybody. That's a result. Okay, what happened? It's already like <clears> the top of I the know. Hour. Well, you got me talking about crystals. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, holy Hannah. Well, it was like, did we just have a time warp there or something? Um, okay, so yeah, let's talk you know. numbers. <laughs> number 22. <laughs> well, altogether, it's a eight. Oh, I thought there was a five in there somewhere. Four. Oh, comfort well, and safety is number four. Crystals no. is number four. <sighs> okay. The five okay. came from the date. I told you it was. Two, oh, gosh. Gotcha. 923. Okay, so, and at that time it was 932. That's okay, where all that so came We're out. at a 26 and an eight. I like that way better than a number five. No, we're at a four and a 22. Okay. Well, let's talk about 22 is a master, master number. number. Yes. And I uh, love <clears throat> so that. I'm, That's a little bit about enlightenment and uh, that kind of awareness. I want to see what Adiranda has to say about master 22. And number four, because I know number four is your favorite number. Four is my favorite. And you'll understand why if you know me at all, you can probably guess why. So according to Adiranda, who is mm -hmm. 17th dimension energy that Marilyn Harper channels and has channeled for a number of years and the double digitology book that you can get on Amazon or on their website, Adiranda.com. <sighs> Mentor, friend, absolutely lovely, lovely ladies. Okay, Adiranda. The 22 mm -hmm. takes all of that energy of cooperation, of being supported, because they always talk about the shape of the numbers. That's one of the things about the numerology of Adirondack that I love is the shape. And it's got that su solid support on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Supportive, responsive, and adaptable to their environment and magnifies it to create 
what we know as the master builder. Yes, the 2-2 is the definitive master builder. They have a strong foundation and are looking forward to the future. This is the energy of seeing from great heights, a higher perspective. All of the elements needed for the foundation to be built. The tutu also magnifies the divine partnership with the world, in your love relationships, with your friends, with your enemies, partnering with a project that you are working with. It helps you build your way through a strong foundation. Yay. Yay. Well, I'd say that's for us today. I'd say that's yeah. for us today as well. And then mm -hmm. you wanted the number four. Yep. <laughs> and Connie, 22 is my birthday. Four is my favorite number. Yay. Oh, hey, Connie, we're foursies. Okay, the four. So it's kind of funny when she talks about the, um, the shape of the four, it kind of teeters. Wondrous in asymmetrical energy. That's not why it's my favorite number. The four is very, very practical, disciplined, requires organization and structure, a statement of frankness, about focus, an energy of acknowledging that power-filled focus that is requiring structure, about paying attention to the details yet guards against getting caught in the minutia. The four is about holding that focus of organization. Mm. that's why it's my favorite number. um that <laughs> kind of sums it up <laughs> oh. and our house number is 13 which equals a four so it was mm. like and rod's a four cool okay well uh that's it we're at the top of the hour and uh wow. thanks for tuning in live thanks any questions replay uh no questions i don't okay. think i'm i'm watching Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, hope to see some people at the Women's Wellness Retreat. And uh, yeah, check out uh, Out of Chaos Comes. Moving from Chaos to Clarity. Uh, moving from <laughs> Chaos to Clarity. <laughs> It's all good. That's coming up October 4th. October and 4th. then, and then this amazing person has a highlight of her life, I think. That's my personal opinion coming up. Mm -hmm. She is going to be the special guest speaker on Lee Carroll and Monica Morani's Healing Wednesday on November 9th. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so excited. Actually, yeah, I know. It's, it's very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Cool. Well, okay. we do have a number of, well, all of our recordings are on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Our flock playlist is on there with interviews from some amazing people. So you got to check those out. Send us some love, do some sharing, some likes. Let us know what you think of our new business name. All in alignment. We're kind of liking it. We are. <laughs> We're going with the flow. We are. Okay, everybody have a great day. Love you all. See you next time. Ciao.